Hello my awesome people, Skyhawk here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, Interstellar Expedition. Alright, so, I think with all the science we have, we should just go straight to the big bad rockets. So, just research that, just research that. Let's go back in because it's being glitchy. Alright. Still 410 science. And let's go on and research these for 160. And docking systems. I do believe I want to build stuff in space. I'm tired of launching everything on one rocket. Research that. Alright, we have 90 science left. 90 exactly. I'm not sure what I want for sure. I think I want this mobile processing lab because that'll provide a lot more science for us. Uh, but I also want to get the space plane things up and running. Tough call, but I'm going to have to go with the mobile processing lab stuff. Research that for 97. Not enough science. I have 90. Come on. Oh my gosh, really? Alright. Um, just because this is technically a different save than the one in the first two episodes, um, I have not collected science from, or a surface sample from directly on the launch pad yet, just because of technicalities here. Oh no, I've collected one from directly on the launch pad, I haven't collected one from uh, Space Center. Alright, the game crashed, no big deal. Uh, we're just going to hop back on the launch pad and hopefully be able to EVA this time without crashing the game. Behold, alright. We're just going to run off the edge of the launch pad here and plop. Alright, get back up and surface sample. Keep that data and run back up. Uh, I don't know, it said we had 90 science on the nose, but maybe it's 89.9 .9 or something and it won't quite let us buy uh, the next node. Grab, board, recover vessel. Ninety-two science. Let's try this again to purchase the mobile processing lab, which is there. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we can start designing a rocket. I'll bring you guys back in when... No, I'll just time warp this.
All right, in three, two, one, blast off. Ooh, those do not look stable. But I'll just go with the flow here. Hope it doesn't tip over. Boy, this is going to be a disaster. Oh man. I'm hoping it somehow manages to keep itself up till we get through this first stage. Um, up is the key here. And barely ticking on that speed. We want to be efficient with our fuel. Uh, more fu <coughs> having extra fuel is better than not having enough, so... Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, <laughs> this is so rickety. And so... I mean, it's not really falling over, but it's... That's why I put all these fins on here. Oh boy, I don't want to mess with it. And I induced a spin somehow. Oh man. Okay, um... Stay vertical. Don't... I guess we're starting our gravity turn at 1100 meters. <laughs> and I'm flying this way. <laughs> this is not ideal. Um... I mean, I'll give it a little more juice to, uh finish off here, but oh boy, it's so hard to fly, come on, oh boy, not the other way, no, 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 oh man, this is, somehow it's still vertical, and I don't know how, we could go this way against the atmosphere too, I mean, that's cool, um, so much for efficiency if we're gonna be gravity turning this way, not this much, not this much, um, okay, this is a terrible disaster. Um, and I'm flying this way now. Um, all right then. Uh, hmm. Let's hope somehow I manage to get into space. That would be much appreciated. Uh, I don't have much for control at this point because we don't have... All I, all I really have is the rocket's gimbal, which uh, isn't much. Uh, so... Man. <laughs> I guess it's just kind of top-heavy and it was really... We didn't even need to separate those. Let's get rid of that mass then. <laughs> Not that it is much mass. Alright, we're picking up speed. And I'm gonna rotate the rocket so that we are in a normal kind of flight sort of thing. Uh, trajectory. And our trajectory is all messed, all sorts of messed up. Though, I'm going to give it a little bit more juice in hopes that we actually do manage to get to space. I have a whole extra stage here dedicated to get us into space. This is just a lifter to hopefully get us up to a little bit over 50,000, maybe 55. Uh, geez, man, what a crazy takeoff. I see our velocity vector slowly pulling back to normal. And we're going to get well over a thousand meters per second out of this bottom stage, that's good. Double check our staging. There we go. This isn't a mainsail, this is a skipper. Um, so, it looks like, it's, looks like we're going good here. Um, I have this fuel here as a transfer stage fuel we will use to get to the moon. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> We need to pick up a lot more momentum. We need to pick up some a little bit of vertical speed too. Let's just peg it at 45. Get it locked on there. And hope for the best. Because we are fighting gravity like nothing else. Alright, we need to like once this thing gets about 75, uh, we will slow down so we're still gaining speed but not losing any. Or we're still like, you know not falling down to earth. Um, still going up. Oh, man, I wish I had fairings. I mean, I have 1.2 uh, 
125 meter fairings, but those are not enough to uh, encompass all this without creating a uh, very multiple missions into space. It was just, it's just more efficient to launch it all like this. Alright, uh, what are we at? 87, that looks good. Let's circularize. A little bit more. 87 and 87. 87, 8, and 87. Wow, that's a good, uh, good looking. Definitely a good looking, uh, orbit there. Uh, if you're looking for a nice circularized orbit, but you don't really need one. Um, I have this marked as a moon mission. I will see how much fuel we have and if we will and where Minmus is at. Cause I mean it doesn't take that much more Delta V to get out to Minmus. Uh, so let's see. Seven hundred meters per oh yeah, we got that in the tank. We definitely got that. Alright. Let's burn as fast as we can. That was I started to burn at about the right time. Just giving it a hundred percent, give her hell. Uh, we can actually, depending on how much we have left in here, uh, which I hope will be, we can, we can see how far we'll get out. And if this gets us to the moon, we might try and go for Midness, or you know, seeing how much Delta V, because uh, it was about right there. We'll drop down, so we'll probably have at least 600 more in the tank. Oh. Let's uh, get that on the nose for the remainder of the 35 meters per second. We need to change. 3, 2, 1. Okay, 20, 19, 6, 5. Close enough. Alright, what do we got? Periaps of 85 and apoaps of 87. That looks good to me. Alright. Next thing to do is to... plan our uh, maneuver to either the moon or Midness. Um, I think Midness is going to have lower overall Delta V requirements. Uh, but getting back with the amount of fuel that we have on our return stage, again, it's fighting less gravity to get out there. I think we can do it. Um, so I just need to be really specific with all this. Um, Let's, uh, first let's hit minimum as the target, and then we're going to adjust at our ascend ascending node, we're going to do a plane change, so that we get a, perfect, right on the money. Alright, so that happens in 10 minutes, it's just an 85 per second, or 85 meters per second change. Uh, no real biggie. And I'm just kind of trying to get on the marker. Alright. Quick save. And let's get around 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 20. Okay. And let's do the final adjustment down here. Oh, that's on zero. Close enough. All right. That's how are we doing for electric charge? Fine. Motor propellant still 10 out of 10. Uh, food, we still got plenty of that. Great. And we still have... Um, stuff left in our orbit stage to see if we can get to uh, Minmus. Man, this engine is not efficient at all in space. Uh, but, okay. Let's... Minmus is our target. Um, you don't have to set it at the ascending or descending node. 
I'm just trying to get... Oh, we had a Mooner encounter there. 900 meters per second. And that gets us dang close. I'm just gonna scroll out here to see how far we overshoot. Oh, let's go a little bit less. Let's, uh, let's see, let's move this a little bit out. This is just me fiddling. Beautiful. Close enough. Alright. We have five minutes. It's going to be a 37 second burn. We might actually even have that in the tank. I'm not sure. Come on. This thing's so unwieldy because I don't have RCS on it and the reaction wheels are set so high up. So I'm just gonna swing across and time accelerating back, all right. So it is in, it's a 37 second burn, so let's get down to a minute. Oh, okay, just about burn right now. We can uh, watch our rocket head off. Give her all she's got. Uh, okay. Wow, this thing is doing great as far as fuel is concerned. We had that sketchy start, so... I mean, wow. <laughs> this thing had over, like, 2,000 uh, meters per second. It had almost 2 kilometers of delta V in it. Which is... Ah, uh, ran out 100 short. Alright, so let's quickly decouple this, uh, activate this engine, and man that's such a cool effect, such a different uh, effect. Okay, so where'd that put us? Into a nice encounter. Beautiful. All right, and these should be—we should be using this fuel. What? Where were we taking fuel from? Where was the fuel coming from? Uh, is it coming from this tank? I'm confused as to where we were burn. What fuel we were burning? Oh, up here maybe. Uh, I don't think I even put fuel in these. Where did the fuel come from? Here? Here it is. Found the fuel. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, I have to remember to, um, I think it's alt, right? Yep. Um, I don't believe there's a, should all, it should be flowing from these tanks, actually. But, I don't know, maybe it goes to the lowest point. Um, we'll see. Uh, so, quick save and fly out there. Zoom. We're not going to have... The moon isn't even going to be close to us. I don't believe. Oh, well, I guess kind of close. Let's slow down and take a uh, screenshot of that. Screenshot. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Let's see, up this way. There we go. Screenshot with, uh, out the, uh, UI in the way. Alright. Zipping out to Midmiss. Doing a manned mis mission to Midmiss right away. Man, did I pack enough life support? <laughs> Food, water. This is just gonna be a quick mission, but... It's the travel times, man. Should have put more life support on there. I was originally planning on going to the moon, so... Alright, let's get a first view of Minmus here. There it is. That dessert in the sky. Are we, have we entered the sphere of influence yet? Nope. Let's keep on going. There it is. Come on. What's our, uh... Perhaps. There it is. Alright. Let's, oop, 
why is that adjusting that there? Um, somehow, this is being glitchy, unfortunately. Um, there it is. All right. Perhaps 24. 24 still. 10. Beautiful. Alright, so let's line up on that marker. It's going to be a little over 200 meters per second. We'll make sure we fire ahead of time, so if we need to pump fuel, we can. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure how to use TAC fuel balancer, so... Um, liquid fuel and oxidizer. Still not entirely sure. Um, I'm sure I could figure it out if I need it, but I should have probably figured that out ahead of time. Alright, so let's get into assume the position. There's about three minutes left, so if I do need to try and figure something out, I can. Alright, let's fire that engine up. And burn, baby, burn. Where's the fuel coming out of? This main tank. Okay, we're gonna have plenty of fuel, but... Alright, let's get um, a mystery goo and a materials bay above Minmus. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, whatever. Didn't mean to accelerate past that. Um, it's okay, though. It's not like we're going to run out of fuel. Let's go over here. Uh, there we go. Alright. Check mark that. 